A handful of the engineers at Fleet Readiness Center East grew up in this community, but many weren't exposed to STEM education until college. Growing up in a small rural area, you know, there were obviously barriers to um, education and opportunity. Because of this, FRC East couldn't recruit from their own backyard. Instead, they recruited engineers from some of the top schools across the country. Those engineers would arrive in Havelock, North Carolina, and soon realize they did not want to live in a rural community. We found it difficult to keep people that we have recruited from farther away um, that have come to work for us. Uh, retention's always been an issue. So FRC East came up with a solution, a local talent pipeline. They partnered with nearby school districts and other organizations to bring STEM education into their local schools. Our average salary is around $72,000 a year. You can't beat that in this area. So it gives some of these students who are interested in these technical and STEM careers a chance to do what they love and what they want to and have a career they love, but also be able to do it here in their hometown. One education tool is the Fab Lab, a mobile STEM education hub that goes on the road visiting local schools. It's making an impact in many schools that lack the resources to offer STEM curriculum. We use this as a tool, this is our mobile fab lab, um, as a way to engage some of those students and teach them about engineering skills, manufacturing skills, trade skills, um, and to kind of spark their interest to encourage them, empower them to maybe pursue a career in STEM. Some local students who benefited from that outreach now work here. The exposure that I did get in middle school and high school was a large factor into what I am doing now today. Um, the outreach opportunities were a great like, experience for me to get me interested, get me excited about the career opportunities that were here, and like also the fact that I knew that there was a job there, I could still live close to my family, I could still enjoy the beach, I could still enjoy the area. That was a huge factor in, to me starting working here. Both Megan and Isaac are now taking part in that outreach, going into local schools. They're hoping to inspire the next generation of STEM leaders. A passion of mine specifically is being able to, to go out and give back to my community and to be able to, to craft and mold um, the, the next generation, um, to be able to give them that exposure. 